This newscast talking about Hurricane Irma, and I think we were both saying we've never seen an eye that is so clearly defined. This thing looks fake if you look at it. I mean, the size of the eye right there in the middle, so clearly defined, obviously very powerful, but Eric's also saying that it's historic. Yeah, so Eric, maybe we should get a little bit more on that. We haven't seen one this big in the Atlantic in a long time. Not this far out. You know, usually when you have your strongest hurricanes, they're toward the Caribbean or they're in the Gulf of Mexico. That's where you have the warmest water. That's where you have the most energy. And at times, you have lower wind shear. So to have one form east of the Leeward Islands of this strength, that has never happened before as far as our records go back. We're talking 185 mile per hour winds. You can see it just churning, a buzzsaw of a hurricane pulsing with those strong winds, heavy rain. Rainfall and that eye may go directly over Barbuda as we head into the overnight hours. Now, the track over the next few days, very high confidence. The center of it tracking just north of Puerto Rico, just north of Hispaniola, just north of Cuba, and south of the Bahamas. That's the center. Of course, there's still impacts outside the center eye. But when we get to the weekend, there is still a lot of uncertainty as to where this goes. So, anyone that tells you it's heading to Tampa, it's heading to Miami, it's heading to Jacksonville, they're just lying to you at this point because we really do not know exactly. If it'll turn right and head up the east coast of Florida or move a little farther before it takes that northerly turn and heads up the west coast of Florida. We're talking Sunday into Monday, a ways down the road, but Florida certainly preparing as they should for a storm that will be very strong. It's not expected to weaken much at all. Behind it, there is Tropical Storm Jose. That's a storm that will track a little farther to the north. So this is the latest cone on that one, becoming a hurricane in just north of the Leeward Islands, but another one to watch as we head into next week. And there's also Tropical Depression. 13. This is in the Gulf of Mexico. The good news here, even as it becomes Katia, this will stay south of Texas. So it's not expected to bring more heavy rain into the Houston area. And then we have our own weather to watch here in New England. Some storms firing up out there tonight. Zoom in on a couple of these. Heavy rainfall just moved through Concord. That is a severe thunderstorm warning on it as it heads up into the Barnstead area. Heavy rainfall with this storm, which is maybe making its way just north of Peterborough and it'll head into a weir in the next couple of minutes. And some heavy rain for this storm heading into Fitzwilliam. Also a lot of lightning, maybe some small hail, gusty winds with that storm. And most of these stay in western New England. Heading up through New Hampshire and Maine for tonight. Eastern Massachusetts, not expecting any action. So, some downpours well north and west. It stays very warm, very humid tonight, like midsummer in the 60s. We've got a flash flood watch out for tomorrow, and that's when the rain is going to be more widespread. So here's the timing. You see those first downpours tonight moving up into New Hampshire, then drying out. Tomorrow, definitely have the rain uh, umbrella handy. We're talking about scattered showers and downpours in the morning. I think the best chance of concentrated, very heavy rainfall will be tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. It could really pour. That's where our flash flood risk is going to be highest. Still some lingering showers Thursday morning, but we do dry out Thursday afternoon into the evening. Tomorrow's highs in the 70s, very muggy outside, gusty southwest winds. And there you see the improvement for the Patriots, not expecting any weather issues, mainly clear skies. Temperatures in the 60s should be a nice night for kickoff. Here's the seven-day outlook. Slight chance of a shower on Friday afternoon, most of the day dry in the low 70s. Right now it looks like a very nice weekend, Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday next week. David and Lisa, over to you. All right.